everybody and welcome back for another art lesson with me, Miss Swish. This week we are going to continue our color theory and we are going to make warm and cool color candles. Okay, so last week I showed you how to create a color wheel. We used the primary colors red, yellow, and blue and we mixed up some of those colors together to make the secondary colors. So red and yellow made orange, yellow and blue made green, and blue and red made the purple or the violet. So after we did that, we divided our color wheel in half and you saw on one side were warm colors. They give you a warmer feeling and we talked about that. The warm colors are the red, orange, and yellow. And then on the other side was the cool colors, the green, the blue, and the purple or violet. So what we're gonna be doing in this project is make a nice holiday candle using both sets of those colors. And you're gonna see how they help each other stand out and look nice and give you that warm and cool feeling. So the top part of our candle, the illumination of it, is gonna be done in the warm candle, uh, the warm colors. The candle itself is gonna be done in the cool colors and the greenery below, okay? So I'm gonna be doing my project in chalk. You don't have to do it in chalk though if you don't have chalk at home. You can use whatever materials you have at home to create this project. If you would like to use crayon or colored pencils, but that's fine, it's up to you. I'm gonna show you though how to do this next. It won't be due though for two weeks because it's a little bit more. I want you to take your time and have fun with this project for the holidays. Okay, so the first thing of what we're going to do in order to start making our warm and cool candle is we need to draw out that candle. Now, I told you in the slide before that I need you to have two pieces of paper. So I'm starting this on, the candle is gonna be done on one paper and drawn, and then we're going to cut it out. The warm colors are gonna be done for the background on the other paper, and then we will glue the candle to the background. Okay, so first what we have to do is make sure our candle is not too big. I have my whole paper here from top to bottom, but I know I only want my candle about halfway. My candle is going to be like a cylinder. So I'm going to start off first with a vertical line, and I'm not gonna go all the way to the end because I need to leave some room at the bottom for that greenery, okay? The green that we're gonna put in at the bottom of the branches, like the tree branches, and I don't need to clutter that up with any pencil yet. So first to make the candle, I make my vertical on one side and another vertical on the other side. Now, just in case I do see the bottom of this, I am going to make it round with an up curve. Okay, because candles are round. Now, when I go to make the top, I'm actually going to use two lines because I want to see that the candle is a little bit below my eye. So if it's below my eye, that means I see the top of it. So I'm going to make a slight up curve, not, not too much of an up curve, but very slightly. And now I go back to the top here and I'm going to make a down curve. So this is actually called an ellipse and it looks like an oval kind of got squished. When we talk about form, we're gonna be doing um, shapes like this more and you will see how realistic it looks and three dimensional, it's called a form. But this is our cylinder for the candle. Now, the center where the flame is going to be, I'm gonna just simply make a vertical line and now I'm gonna make curve lines to do that flame. So I start with a point at the top and I come out with a curve around and make it touch, stop, go back up to the top, and then I'm gonna go in the opposite direction with that curve. And then I could come down and make the wick of my candle just a little bit thicker like so. Okay, now this is what we're going to be cutting out. So you need to be careful and you don't have to worry about doing anything else around it. I am going to take my chalk now and I told you for this, we are going to use our, for, well, again, I'm using chalk, but if you're not using chalk and you have crayons or colored pencils, um, that would be fine. Maybe if you even have watercolor paint, that would be great. 
I just wouldn't use marker though because we do need to do some blending and the marker probably won't work that well. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I need the, I'm gonna save the bottom for last. I need my candle to look round. So I'm going to be taking that blue and the purple. I want the center to be the blue. I want it to be the lighter one and darker a little bit on the edges. So I'm gonna go in the shape in the direction. Actually, when I start working with chalk, you're gonna see, I might make some marks. If you are working with chalk at home, please make sure I put a background scrap paper underneath. If you have newspaper or magazine, please have that handy. Put that under your paper so you don't get chalk all over your kitchen table. And also I have a paper towel here because when I go to switch colors, I need to wipe my fingers clean. I don't wanna mix up my colors, especially the warm and the cool and get a brown kind of color. Okay, so let's continue. Let's start now. I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm going to make this up curve because remember our candle is curved and I'm gonna go in an up curve direction from top down and I could actually drag it out and make it a little bit longer if I want. And then remember, with chalk, I'm going to blend. So I take my fingers now, I take one finger and I could softly blend this out to get rid of any white spots. The great thing about chalk too, or even if you had oil pastels, you could do this with oil pastels, is it blends away the white spots, but I could always go back on top. I could go back on top and layer my colors. So there I have my first blue. Now I'm going in with my purple around my edges. I am gonna do this first before I outline, and I have to still stay with that curved direction. And when I go to cut this out, that would be good too. So I go on and get right up to that edge. And I'm going in that curved direction, pulling it towards the center, and I'm just letting it overlap slightly into the blue area. Okay. I could take my finger now on this side and I could start to blend it. And again, if you go outside of your lines, because we're cutting this out, it's not a big deal. And I wanna bring that purple into the blue, but I don't wanna cover it up totally. So just be careful for that, okay? If there's any white areas, any areas that still look white to you, don't be afraid. You could go right back in and add a little bit more. You can make it a little bit darker, like so. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna turn it just because it's a little bit easier for me to go in this direction. And I do the same thing. If you'd like to draw your edge, you could. Go back now and blend. Now, if for some reason you put maybe too much purple or you lost some of that blue, you can always go back and put a little bit more on top and in the center. That's why I chose chalk for this project because there's so much blending and mixing and it looks nice. Now, my fingers are very dirty, so I'm gonna, instead of drawing with more chalk at the top, I'm just going to slightly take this and rub it very carefully. Ah, actually, maybe I do want a little bit of an outline over here. I was going to say, if you have any leftover, you could just take it and rub the top. We don't wanna rub it away completely. We still wanna see that it's there. So I am going to outline that a little bit, but then gently rub it at the top of my candle. Okay, now I'm going to use the green. I can take my paper towel and wipe my fingers just very quickly. And the bottom now is where I wanna put that greenery. So I'm going to take, I actually have a light and a dark green, and I'm just simply going to make some lines like so. You can make it overlap. You definitely want it to overlap the candle a little bit, otherwise it's not gonna look right. You don't have to get too crazy with it, but just see what would look best. If you wanna actually use some diagonal lines, you can do that. 
Make your vertical or curved line and then make some diagonals to make it look like those tree branches. And use your darker color on top so that really stands out and the lighter color would be behind. Now, when you do this, you really don't want to rub too much. You could gently rub it, but again, you don't want to rub too, too much. You just want to take away some of that white space in between. Otherwise, you're just going to make it look like a big green mess. So again, if you end up rubbing it too much by mistake, simply take your chalk and go right over it. If you see an area that maybe looking a little empty you could go back in okay so we are done with our cool colors now I want you to take your scissors and you are going to cut this out very carefully around the greenery and again I'm just doing this quick right now I still have some white there but I could go back in and cut that a little bit more. Don't cut away anything. And I'm going to get right up to my chalk line. Now, I didn't do the candle part because I'm going to wash my hands. And then I will do my warm colors next. So that's why I didn't go and do my flame just yet. But I will go back and do that. Okay, so I'm going to finish cutting this out. And you will see the next step. Okay, so now for the next step, I went and I washed my hands. I didn't want any of that cool color chalk on my fingers getting mixed up with the warm colors. Before I did wash my hands, I went in and I filled in any white spots after I had cut the whole thing out. And I filled in with the very light green, any of the white spots, I filled that in with the lighter green. So I need to do the flame. And I actually just used the paper that I cut out from the candle I cut out. I'm going to put it underneath, not to make a mess all over my scrap paper as well. But what I'm going to do now is take that flame and I'm actually going to go around the edge with the orange first. I want the edges to just be a little bit darker. So even I could go in, my chalk is pretty big here, around the edge on the outside. And then I'm just going to go in with the, in the middle with the yellow like so and then the wick is going to be black so I can take a, a crayon or colored pencil and I would just color in that vertical wick with the black okay like so and now my candle is done I'm going to take this and just put it off to the side for now okay now I'm going to go for the background with my warm color. Just so I know where to put my warm colors to start my warm colors, I am going to just take my candle and rest it right here. So what I'm going to do is take that and I'm going to start with the yellow. The yellow is going to be the brightest part of this, my, of the warm color and the illumination coming off of that flame. So with my candle just lightly laying here, right, I just only lightly put it down so I know where I'm going to be putting my yellow. I have my green touching the bottom and I'm going to start by making some curved lines going around that flame. Okay, I'm going to do this and I want this to come out and be, again, the biggest part now. It's not going to come too low. That's where my orange is going to start. My yellow is going to be more at the top. So I'm going to go in like so. Okay. And then I can go in with my orange and I will start to go around it. Now I could even take a little bit of orange because remember when I'm blending this, I can have the colors kind of mix up a little bit and that'll make it look a little bit more realistic as well. So now my orange, now I don't wanna go up too high to the top of the page because I still need to have some room for the red. So I have my orange and then finally I'm gonna take my red and I'm going to fill the red up the rest of the way. So I'm going to go around and put that here like so. Okay, and I'll we'll have that. Now, I don't want to leave this all um, with just the curved lines, with these hard lines. Again, I want to make this nice and soft and illuminated. So now with, I'm going to take this out of the way, and now I'm going to just go in with my warm color chalk, and I'm going to fill up this paper. I'm going to speed up the video so you see how I do that. I'm going to be adding in that color, and again, blending with my fingers.
Okay, so now that I have my whole background done, as you saw, I put in that uh, yellow and I layered it more and I pressed harder with my reds. Make sure that you go in and blend it. If you have any white areas, don't be afraid to go back and layer in that color. It's okay if these colors go on top of one another. And again, if you are using chalk, make sure you have that uh, scrap paper underneath so you're not getting your table dirty. Okay, the last and final step now is I'm taking my glue stick and I am going to carefully, I'll move this off to the side, I'm going to put the glue on my candle right off to the edges. And now I'm going to stick my candle down right to the bottom. Make sure you go all the way in with your red and I have my candle on top like so. And there it is, boys and girls. There is your warm and cool candle, holiday candle, uh, done with chalk, or like I said, crayon, color pencil, watercolors, oil pastel, whatever you have at home, whatever you would like, it's up to you. This is your project, as long as it's done with the warm and cool colors. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Bye everyone, happy holidays.